Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Oblivion. Well, last time, I'd say we had some good and some bad. On the weapon front, things are looking sexy. I've now got myself a bow that does 7 physical damage and 15 magical. Now that, that is pretty bloody good. And on top of that, the gamer handed me a lost weapon and said, Choose whether this shall be restored to Coral or instead handed over for a giant pile of money to the Thieves Guild. And I said, actually, you know what, that's a pretty good sword, I'm just keeping that. Although I'll admit, yes, down there in the bottom right, the problem we've got is money. I've got more money than I've ever had before in my life. Over five grand. But, unfortunately, the housing market in Cyrodiil is just ridiculous. So, if I want to buy a mid-sized house in Coral, not even the biggest house in town, just... A decent house in the town center so that I can be close by to my darling wife Dharma. I need to come up with 20 cocking grams. So okay, forget that nonsense. Instead, today we're going to see if I can find my fortune in a different town. Because over in the distance there, I can see Anvil. Because one, it's a port city, there's got to be some money floating around. And two, yes, people just won't bloody shut up about the desecrated chapel of Debella and how I ought to go and check it out. So fine game, I'll go and do it if you stop dropping mentions of it in random NPC barks. And yes, I can indeed see, yes, just a flicker of an oblivion gate. We're not going in there today. No, 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 no. Also, hang on. You're a timber wolf, funny chance. Oh, you're a timber wolf, aren't you? Oh, you know what? That's not even that scary anymore. That's not that scary at all. Oh, I can deal with... Does anyone know why he just died? Yes, we are not going into the Oblivion Gate. Okay, not cocking happening. We are just leaving it alone. Is that actually a highwayman? Are you a highwayman who's decided to stand right next to an Oblivion Gate? Because if so, honestly, that is... That is ballsy of you. Oh, it is as well. It's genuinely a highwayman who's decided to... Uh, yes, I don't know. Rob passing demons, I suppose. Okay, hang on. He just dropped dead too. Does anybody know why everyone around me is suddenly just dying? Oh, hang on. It's the Ring of Namira. It's reflecting right. That's actually doing a lot of interesting things in that case. So, okay. Me being super tanky and just hiding behind a shield and a healing. Eventually, by default, I win every fight. Just because people keep punching themselves in the face. Oh, that's interesting. As in fact is the fact that, oh blimey, you had a dwarven mace buddy. And I swear it was causing a silence effect. Was that a spell or was that the weapon? Because if so, this could be, no, nothing on it. But I will say, gosh darn it, why did I put an enchantment on this thing? I have now got a much, much better blunt weapon. Okay, you know what? We're not going into the oblivion gate anyway and... Okay, seriously, I feel bad for this small pub by the side of the road, because, oh, blimey, there's also this heads here. Do the demons set these up? Okay, possibly they do. Look, I might come back for you later. Not today, all right. Today, I'm working on trying to put together a deposit for a house in Coral. Oh, before we visit the inn, though, hang on. See another altar round the back. Never say no to them. That might be a brand new god, so I can get some new bonuses from the churches. Though probably not the Shrine of Debella, given it has famously been... Oh yeah, that's a new one. So okay, Zenithar. Oh, he's luck. Oh, that's kind of cool, because yes, luck converts to other stuff. So 10 extra luck is like... Hang on, I think that's effectively 4 invisible to every other skill... In the game, so I just do everything four points better than what I can actually see. That's not bad, you know. God of luck, I like it. Right, innkeeper. I'm assuming you're not going to uh, in any way acknowledge the giant oblivion gate just outside your inn. Nothing dramatic in here, just yes, he's a merchant trainer. But honestly, if I wanted merchant training from anybody, I'd go and see Dharma's mum because me and her are good friends. Oh. Um, slight complication, by the way. Going to be honest, once I picked up the Apprentice Calcinator, 
I kind of just sold my mortar, but apparently you need that anyway. So, okay, um, hopefully there'll be a Mage's Guild in Anvil, and we can just pick up what we need there. Lovely. Okay, weather's actually cheering up nicely. Now I've walked away from the Oblivion Gate, nothing much on the road, one I laid ruin I ignored, and, uh, oh yeah. Who wants to place bets now as to uh, what we've just found? Because uh, we're at the edge of town, uh, and can't help but notice there's a cave here. A cave that somebody has fitted with a door, so... Uh, Alright, vampires, I am guessing so. Okay, you know what's creepier than a cave of vampires? A cave that clearly is being lived in. Lit fires, multiple beds, all the rest of it. But nobody's here. So who's maintaining all the fires? Okay, I feel like I might have stumbled across, uh, yes, a cave that's going to be used for something down the line. So, alright, here we go, and I'll admit straight away, I like the colours. I like the light stone, I like the orange roof tiles. Uh, the buildings just feel, you know, nice and light and airy and big. Plus, you know, being by the coast, obviously... That's nice. That's really good uh, right there. Oh, you're important, apparently. Are you the guard captain or something? Inneris and Ventius, hunter, woodsman, and marksman at your service. All right, so this guy's just an all-round badass. Although, yes, by the looks of it, his best skill is being an archer, given that's what he's willing to train in. So, uh, okay, buddy, you're a local. Tell me about the town. Plenty of deer, wolf, boar, mountain lion, bear in the county. Just need to know where to look for them. Okay, apparently there's lions out there. Haven't run into those yet. Maybe be a bit careful in this bit of the world. All right, and we're going up. Oh, my. Oh, I like it. Straight away. I mean, maybe it's just because I'm coming from Skingrad, but Skingrad was so tiny and just, yeah, crammed in. Okay, we've got... Apparently, I just heard someone talking about 8 and 1. I didn't, but apparently that's a thing, so... Okay, sexy mermaid statue right next to water. Loads of open space. Okay, me and this town, we can be friends, especially as... Uh, okay, loads of houses seem to have, like, bobbly circular extensions on them. Oh, that's nice. That is really nice. Right there, and... Uh, oh, there's the Major's Guild. Now, that's a Major's Guild. Yeah, me and this town... We can be friends. We can be super awesome friends. Uh, there's the fighter skill. Need to go visit there. They did say to me my next mission was going to be over an anvil. Can't remember what the name of the guy I'm looking for is, but... Oh, hang on. You're the screaming preacher, aren't you? Because, uh, yes, the temple was a bit... Okay, we will get back to you. We will get back to you in a second. Uh, I'm evaluating the state of the property market here. Because... Uh, oh, some people have got gardens. Gardens that I can just steal stuff out of. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, step one. Nip into the Major's Guild. Apparently, I've uh, given away a rather important bit of uh, apparatus. And apparently, this is a restoration center. So, uh, my restoration is like mid-30s right now. I doubt there's going to be anything I can buy that I can actually use. Hello, Associate. To earn a recommendation from me, you need simply prove you are able-bodied and prepared to learn something in the process. Okay, this seems suspiciously easy. What do you mean, Carahel? Unlike some frivolous tasks you may be given at other guild halls, this is a serious matter and has consequences. Are you prepared? Okay, I'm getting mixed messages here. Is this a serious job you're going to give me, or a nice academic exercise where I just have to keep an open mind and learn something? Then allow me to explain the task. The Council of Mages has entrusted me with resolving a situation along the Gold Road. Several traveling merchants have been found dead along the Gold Road recently, with even more missing. The Council has asked that I put a stop to it. You are going to help me do so. Okay, I can see why that would be a big deal, because uh, this is clearly a port city. Now, there are other ports, like um, down below in Bravel and Leowin. They look like they were on the sea too, but this is on, like, a different coast. For sea trade with, say, 
What's in that direction? A Hammerfell and High Rock? This would be the primary port. Keeping the roads safe between here and the Imperial City, that's gotta be really bloody important. We believe the killings are the actions of a rogue mage. Battle mages have been sent to the Brina Cross Inn, the only common link between the victims. You are to travel north to the Brina Cross Inn and speak with Ariel Gerard. She will give you further instructions. Okay, this does seem more high stakes than some of the other missions I've been given. Previous guy just said, hey, get a ring from a well. And he was actually trying to kill me at the same time. But still, this feels like really important. Okay, downside to the Major's Guild. Upstairs in the, uh, yes, nice sleepy area. I'll admit I'm less happy with the fact there don't seem to be private rooms. Which I have seen in some other guilds. Though, uh, what I will say is nice is, uh, yeah... Right here, there's some really valuable stuff I can just, uh, help myself to. Wasn't even locked. So really, I feel like it is not my fault if I go on to immediately steal it. Oh, hang on. Next door to the guilds. Okay. Last time we saw a house that looked like this inside a major city. Dark Brotherhood. Okay. Check for wells. Is there a well around the back? That's pumpkins. That's, that's a guard. That's fine. This... Is this a well? Okay, we're going into the creepy murder house. And for once, I am not just being paranoid. Alright, I have good evidence to suggest this might be a Dark Brotherhood outpost. So just... Be ready. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think someone is potentially trying to keep me out of here. And unfortunately, I feel like there might be a secret murder door down in this direction. Especially as, okay, despite this house being abandoned, upstairs, light, food. Somebody's been here, and somebody owns it. Alright, well I'll be taking their lettuce, and Mythal Menace, Thieves Guild. Okay, that would suggest that, oh I might be robbing the Thieves Guild right now. Oh you don't do that, that's in the rules. Okay, well, it's not my fault. I didn't know. Okay, maybe not murder house. Maybe just stealing a house. I'm not sure. Okay, don't steal anything else, just in case. This might be a nice base for me down the line, potentially. Hey, you're the one they call the hero of Kavach, aren't you? The one that closed the Oblivion Gate and saved the city? Oh my flippy goodness, I just came in to repair my gear and people have started calling me the hero of Kvatch, which is, I mean, to be honest, a bit generous given, oh, we should really go back and help those guys at some point. Yeah, I just took off and went on a date with Sean Bean and they hadn't actually finished taking back Kvatch. In fact, they did specifically say, hey, we really need your help dealing with the castle. Because until that's done, we've not taken back Kavach. Then I just didn't go back, so... Okay, you know what? If everyone thinks I'm the hero of Kavach, that's good enough for me. Okay, here's something I wasn't expecting, though, which is... Uh, this might be actually the smallest town I've come across so far. It's basically just one street. So... Uh, Okay, you got yourself the gate right there, then just this single street down towards, yes, the uh, lovely massive church, water on the left, and then we got the uh, guilds uh, right here. Guild halls, super nice, I'll give it that, but yeah, really, really small city for a port. Then again, John, this isn't the port, is it? Alright, this is the city itself. There's probably a whole bunch more down by the water, so, oh blimey. Okay, never mind. This might be the Dark Brotherhood house. So instead we've got... Oh. Okay. This house needs a key. So this will be the house that's... Oh dear, it's not in... It's not in good shape, is it? No. No, it is not. But then again, actually, you know what? This is the nice side of town. Right here. I am literally right next to the gardens, uh, right next to the church, right next to the park and the sexy mermaid statue and the water. Okay, it's a bit of a fixer-upper, but the location is good and you always want to buy in a good location. Like, buying a rundown house in a good location, that there could be a really, really good investment opportunity. 
So, okay, keep an eye on that also. Okay, will you just shut up for a second? I'm busy speculating on property. Oh, it's got a garden. Like, okay, it's in bad shape right now. The wall needs to be redone. But this is... This is a big garden. Like, you can't argue with square footage. You get a lot of square footage. Any chance, by the way, I can just get up to... Oh, yeah. Oh, flipping yeah. Straight up to here. Balcony. I mean, a balcony that overlooks a park? I don't know whether this house is going to be really cheap or really expensive. Because there are good and bad bits about it. Like, seriously, it is in rough shape. But the location is stunning. If I go out this gate, do we get down to the port bit of the port? Because I suspect so, potentially. Yes. It's just straight through. Yes. Okay, yes. There is a whole lot more down by the ocean. So this is... Oh, hang on. Is this by any chance where the Hello. counter... Oh. Do you have a private island? Is that what that was in the distance? Because I saw a building on an island. Oh my goodness, this is where the Count or Countess lives. On their own private island. With like hey. one bridge, otherwise uh, surrounded by water. Oh, now that. That is stylish right there. That might be even more stylish than the Doom Fortress of Skingrads. This will be why the city itself is a bit on the small side. Plenty of it has just been decentralized down to the docks over here. So, yeah, this is where we got a whole bunch of shacks, and I'm increasingly worried that, um, maybe that big lovely building isn't actually where I get to live. Actually, that's for, like, a mission or something, or it's like the Dark Brotherhood house, given it's all creepy and whatever. I suspect, actually, maybe I'm buying a shack down by the water. Or a lighthouse. Oh, I would pay anything for a lighthouse. You have no idea. In fact, you know, I'm going to the lighthouse right now. I want to go and say hi to the lighthouse keeper. Ships sail from Anvil Harbor for ports of call in Hammerfell, Somerset Isle, Yokuda, and the Western Isles. All right, so this lad here is the lighthouse keeper. And yes, indeed, as I suspected, this is a really, really important port. Like, so many goods come through here. Trouble on the roads between here and the Imperial City. That is a disaster. It cannot be allowed to happen. Oh, and another interesting note from this guy. So on the topic of that prophet and the anvil attack. I'd like to get my hands on the cowards that did that. I'm even thinking of joining the prophet's holy crusade. Okay, holy crusade you say? Also, obviously, I'm going up to the top of the lighthouse, because why wouldn't I? Oh, okay, I can just... I can turn off the lighthouse. Okay, I feel like I should not do that. Like, that is definitely a no-no. Unless, for example, I see a boat that I want to maybe crash and die. Oh, now up here. Buddy, how much for your lighthouse? I will pay, basically anything to live here. This is a lovely, lovely spot to live. Okay, and you, you're just my new best local friend because you appear to be painting a picture of the lighthouse and that's super cool. Also, your name is Astia Inventius, which may be like the best name in the game. I heard that Velwyn Benerus is trying to sell off Benerus Manor. Hopefully the new owners will clean that eyesore up. Okay, never mind. It is going to be, yes, that manor that gets sold. But, I mean, you know what? There could be a deal to be done here, okay? He clearly wants to get rid of it because it's in terrible, terrible shape. But, on the other hand, the location, like, the location is so damn good. Tell me more about this guy. Like, is he known to be a crook? That layabout... You can find him wasting time at the Count's Arms. Okay, a layabout may be not well respected. Gotcha. I'll never get that crystal ball back. Not with those frightful spirits floating around. Oh, well, I think we found ourselves a quest giver. Just standing on her boat, moping around, talking about how she needs something back. You just point me in the right direction, I'll go kill him. This is a travesty. A complete and utter travesty. 
The crystal ball is just sitting there in the hold, but I'll be damned if I'm going back on board. And nobody will help me. Nobody. Not with those spirits roaming the decks. I don't suppose you'll help me. No, of course you won't. Okay, hang about. Are we talking ghost ship right now? Because I am there. Of course you can't. Nobody ever wants to help. That's the... Wait, did you actually say you'd help me? Oh, how wonderful. I can't thank you enough. I've been going out of my mind ever since my crew was murdered. This is my ship, you see. The Serpent's Wake. I hired the crew to sail to Somerset Isle to retrieve a family heirloom. My mother's crystal ball. They made the journey and arrived back all right. But then... Someone murdered them. All of them. Now their spirits are haunting the ship. The crystal ball is in a chest in the ship's hold, but I can't get to it. I made it as far as the captain's cabin, but the spirits nearly killed me. Get the crystal ball and return it to me here, and I'll make it worth your trouble. Here, you'll need this key. Thank you so much. Okay, haunted ship implies ghosts. And ghosts, well, we know how to deal with them. Silver weapons do the job. And actually, I am just swimming in silver. Now, the bow is dwarven, but I'm in possession of silver arrows. Now, surely that's what matters. Like, the bow doesn't need to be silver. Just the thing that pierces the ghost. That makes sense, right? So, okay. We've got ourselves... Oh, so many tools that we can use to go ghost hunting. So, all right, as it turns out, who are you going to call? Me. That's who you're going to call. Let's go kill some ghosts. Though, okay, when you say trespassing, she did just tell me to go into the holds. Okay, if she's annoyed at me, when I come back out, I'm going to be very irritated, though. Oh, hang on. Thing to think about number two. My Dramora won't be able to do a thing. But the Flame Atronach, they toss flames. Now magic, oh yeah. Oh flipping yeah. Oh, I'm thinking about this properly. That's a ghost. That was a bit more sinister than I was expecting. Right, Flame Dramora, this one's on you. Let's just see how well we do here. You're just getting in there and presumably hitting that thing with like magic damage. How do you do one-on-one -on -one against you? And uh, I can't see because you're in the way and... Oh, I think you're doing pretty well, actually. I think you're absolutely annihilating him. My fire demon versus ghost. Oh, yeah. Oh, flipping yeah. Oh, flipping yeah. Oh, this is going beautifully. You finally go down. Then I just summon a new one. You just get in. So there we go. Charmander, I choose you. He goes in. Keeps doing some lovely, lovely work. You stay around for a decent amount of time. And you're not doing anything, are you? That, that's doing nothing. Okay, what about this? Okay, that's doing something. Yeah, that's doing something right there. Then the axe. That's doing something too. Okay, by any chance, have you got yourself a, a soul? Because, like, you're literally nothing but soul. So you should have a soul. No, get out of the way. I was trying to... Okay, well, that's no bloody use at all. Right, you're dead. But I soul trapped my own summon. Ooh, a fine steel cutlass. Okay, that's fancy. That's fancy right there. Just need to grab everything. So, okay. People were murdered. There's the dead captain right there. There's some keys. But what precisely killed them? Oh, base ring and detect. Oh, blimey. That's pretty good for me. Because that's just free life detection. Oh, I like it. I will give up the ring of Aegis for now. In return for this ring. I mean, I feel like I should be able to put on more than two rings. Because, ooh, now I'm glowing as well. Oh, I like that. Oh, it's only temporary. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Still, this will let me, there we go, detect some ghosts and buddy. Okay, that did do some damage, just not, not really much. And seriously, we need, I need you to do something. My little, oh, blimey, we're, we're a bit, we're a bit tight in right now. Oh, now there's lots of them. Okay, crack out the good weapon, the honor blade. This should work, right? Yeah, this is silver. Oh, it's not doing much. It's, it's not doing... I, I'm stuck in a corner. 
yeah, I think silver weapons do something. But what you really need is... Uh, yeah, it's 100% about the magic damage. So I just need to max out... John? You have magic. Just use the magic. Here we go. Activate flame touch. And mix that with some uh, magic comeback fast juice. Oh yeah, magic up, 7 points a second for 29 seconds. Now that's gonna be the good stuff right there. I think I was just... Wait, hang on, why am I... Oh, I've been silenced! Oh, well that's no good at all. Right, go back over to this. Can't change weapons. Okay, well, stop attacking then. There we go. This'll do something at the bare minimum. So there we go, that's you going to be... I'm dying very fast. Okay, these ghosts are maybe a little bit tougher than I was expecting. Put some, yeah, fire damage on the axe too. That seems to be reasonable. Fortify my health. That seems reasonable too. Fortify my strength. I'm making those myself. That's lovely. Now just basically start getting some good stuff going on right here. Okay, I've got the potions. Use them. I will say this. Oh, I drank too many potions. No, I drank way too many potions and now I'm going to die because I can't drink... I made a mistake. Okay, we're just going to hide in here from the ghosts. Okay, because I know the ghosts aren't going to be... No, no, leave me alone. Leave me. I just need this potion to wear off. There we go. Now I can drink more potions. Oh, I can only drink so many potions. Oh, this was a mistake. I've, I've made a series of... Okay, I may not be ready for these ghosts yet. The ghosts are... The ghosts are tough. Okay, just come on. Come on, come on. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Wait. Drink some more potions. I'm drinking potions as fast as I can. Go, 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 go. Okay, we might need to rethink this a bit. Hang on, I'm only actually supposed to be here to get the crystal ball and then move on. What if I instead just went in, grabbed the keys and grabbed the crystal ball and then got straight out? She didn't specifically say sort out the ghost problem. That was not a thing she specified. Now just get over to... Ow! Bloody hell. Okay, this is, this is fine. Now I'm pretty sure I can just one-on-one -on -one outpower you. Okay, you're useful as a tank at the bare minimum. Lovely, 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 lovely. Where's the thing? Are we going down another deck yet? Because I suspect we are. Okay, plan C, I think. What if we just actually didn't get spotted by the ghost at all? What if we were to sneak this using my- Oh, bloody hell, hang on, never mind. Okay, well, that's- Well, she did say. She said nothing about why are there more ghosts all of a sudden. Right, don't mind me. It's all absolutely fine. She said, yep. She said nothing about eliminating ghosts. And slip the other ring back on because 15% uh, damage reduction, that is huge. But yes, if I'm playing stealthy, that ring is very, very useful. Yes, I've got the crystal ball. Your ship is still haunted, but that's your fault for not being specific enough when you gave me the job. You did it. You actually made it back with the crystal ball. Oh, thank you. Here, please take this as a reward. It's the captain's enchanted cutlass. I managed to grab it when I was in his cabin before his spirit chased me out. Oh, thank you so very much. All right, job done. Apparently that's all she wanted, so... Yeah, I'm gonna suggest we just... Well, she's abandoning the boat. Right, I guess we just sink this boat in that case. Oh, and hello, sexy. Okay, so it doesn't... Oh, ho, ho. Oh, that's nice. It's got a little skull and crossbones on it. Drain health. Okay. 20 points for... Oh, that's a lot. That's... That's kind of huge for doing damage over time. Arvena Thelus is an odd one. I've heard some strange noises coming from her basement. Oh, we've got ourselves another creepy murder basement. All right, I was just doing some shopping, checking the rumors... Arvina Thelus has got a creepy See? murder basement then again. Last time we heard that rumour, it was a member of the Mythic Dawn. Okay, we've got somebody to check out. Maybe, yeah, maybe wait till it's night so we can go in while nobody's there. Now, where precisely is the Count's Inn? There's... Okay, I don't know what this is, but I want to go in the Focus Suttle. I have no clue what this is, but oh blimey. Okay, sorry, I just got jump scared by a potato. 
I don't know who these people are, but apparently I can talk to them about a gang. An all-female gang of thieves has been recently plaguing Anvil with a very unique method of robbing. They pick on only the men. If you want to help us do something about it, go talk to Gogan and Malona. Let's just say Gogan is intimately involved and leave it at that. Okay, an all-female gang of thieves. Well, I'd be very much willing to join that, yes. Back in the city proper, the Count's Arms. So, somebody apparently is trying to sell this house and it is in terrible shape, but it's an amazing location. So, all right, buddy, let's have a chat to you. Oh, here he is, and oh dear. This guy's dressed a little bit too smartly for my liking. I feel like he's about to try and sweet talk me into a fast purchase. Though, to be honest, in Cyrodiil, yes, you don't get to view a property before you buy it. You can see the exterior, but you don't get to actually, you know, do a proper tour. And there's no surveys or anything, but all right, buddy. Let's me and you have a chat. You wouldn't happen to be in the market for a home, would you? If you are, I just happen to be selling a manor located right here in Anvil. Okay, so when we're talking about was this mission just called Where the Spirits Have Lease? Oh, it's bloody haunted, isn't it? Okay, you know what? That's fine. I've just had some practice ghost busting. I know that I can bust some ghosts should such a thing be necessary. And I'm going to be honest, he has won me round a bit by using the word manor. Because my current house, I would use the word shack instead. So manor feels like I'm skipping forward several levels. Yes, I'm selling my grandfather's house, Benerus Manor. If you're interested, I could let you have it for a modest sum. I have to sell it soon as I have pressing matters elsewhere. You're welcome to take a look at it. It is located across the street from the chapel. Once you buy, you get the key to the front door and the deed of ownership. That's the deal. Would you like to buy it now? Oh, he is a very keen on me buying that. Five thousand! I don't care if I can't move for ghosts. Five grand is a bargain. Here you go, you stupid sucker. Excellent. Here's the key to the front door and the deed of ownership. I hope you enjoy your new home. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must attend to those pressing matters I spoke of earlier. Good day. Okay, I'm assuming he's about to... He was a ghost too. Okay, so I've just bought a house, maybe slightly impulsively, I'll admit, but, I mean, if he's just disappeared so that I can't chase him down to demand a refund, well, he's got the wrong end of the stick, quite frankly. Like, I'm going to chase him down to buy him a bottle of wine to say thank you. He's just given me a mansion for only five grand. We are going in to my brand new house, admittedly. Okay, the early morning mist does make it look even more haunted than it would do otherwise. Also, I see some lovely herbs over there. I'll be helping myself too, lovely. Okay, in we go. I suspect that... Then again, actually, John, we could go in the balcony. So, may need some work. It was a great deal. I can now make myself at home. I'm keeping the sword out because I'm suspicious that no one said to me. Also, you can go and buy. Actually, you know what? That's that's a good point. This place is furnished. Oh, bloody hell. I don't care that it's got ghosts. It's furnished. There's storage here. There's chairs. Oh, cock me. Well, then again, this is... Admittedly, this is an odd layout. Like, okay, entrance like drawing room to meet guests and then just like one door off there there is a little bit of a okay hang on this is this is all very very peculiar it's like a corridor right here so hang about there was wait what was that oh that was just a chair that was a chair chandelier is going to need to be set back up again yeah if you want to get to the upstairs you have to go through every room on the ground floor which is Odd. Oh, does it have a basement? Oh, I've got my own creepy murder basement. Oh, finally. I was so jealous of everybody else and their creepy murder basements. I have got my own. Oh, it's got a sub-level. That's where the even creepier murders... 
He's left it stocked with wine. I can actually make some of my money back just by selling the wine he's left. Okay. I'm guessing there's going to be a very, very serious downside to this place. And, well, there's the, um, there's the demon stuff right there. Open this. I can't open this. Just try hitting it. Does nothing. Okay, so we might need to have a bit of a looksy round uh, to figure out how to open the sealed doorway. So, okay, there's definitely some nasty stuff going on in the basement. But is it any worse than what other people in Cyrodiil do in their creepy murder basements? No, absolutely not. I found an agent of the Mythic Dawn with flipping skulls in his basement. Are there skulls in this basement? No, none whatsoever. Okay, now this is just... Ooh. What sort of bananas person puts a bedroom at the top of the stairs that you have to walk through to get to the other bedrooms? That's... That's just weird. So, okay. There's the balcony. It's not... It's not as big as I thought it was going to be. But... Also, where are the ghosts? I mean... I feel like there was definitely implication about ghosts, but I'm not finding much of a mention of them, like, anywhere else. Oh, hang on. Why do I get the feeling that what I need to do now is go to sleep and stuff's going to get creepy overnight? Oh, I think that's what's about to happen. Yes. Oh, that's marvellous right there. Right. Creepy murder house. Let's just have a nap in it and see if it immediately gets haunted. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But you're about to start taking damage over time. Right, damage over time to both of you. Right, and there's two ghosts. And now, how much does that do to them? I'm going to be honest, not much. I need a soul out of these guys. So, okay, hang about. Hang about, hang about, hang about. Where's my... Ooh. Tell you what I do have. I do have my bound dagger. All right, get that out. There's my conjuration skill. And now... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This will take care of you, you stupid bastard. Oh, they're a bit... They're a bit tough. A little bit on the tough side. Okay, I need one of you dead. They're definitely doing magic of me, which is, you know, unfortunate. But that's fine. We can just counteract that with potions. Okay, also thing to know, do ghosts have souls? And the answer is, there's mysticism. I'm gaining, yes, core skills faster than I'd like here. And just finish him off. He did have a soul. And now it's mine. Okay, now these guys have appeared. By any chance, is there now going to be more stuff going on down in the basement if I go to... Oh, no, there's just, there's just more ghosts. Okay, so just many, many more ghosts. Then again, this one, I can just snipe from over here. So this one's fine. All right, back downstairs to the basement. I'm guessing the seal is now broken and the ghosts are now free. So, okay, this is why he was trying to sell it sight unseen. Though, to be honest, that's how, like, every house gets sold. So it doesn't really make much of a difference in the long run. Still nothing, though. Hang about. Okay, we might have missed something else downstairs. It's not the biggest house in the world. I'm going to be honest. I thought it was going to be slightly bigger than it actually was. Oh, uh, hello, Saxon. A broken pot with a mysterious hand and a scrap of a diary. So, okay. A secret room only a true-blooded Benarus can open. Right. So he's run off and I can't get into the creepy murder basement until he comes and helps me do it. Okay, time to figure out which direction this guy was going in. But you know what? He did literally disappear from the pub. The innkeeper's got to be a good starting point. Right, Wilbur. The lad who was standing next to you last night, where'd he go? As soon as you bought the place, he pretty much up and left. I hear tell he's making his way to the Imperial City. Okay, dangerous road, to be honest, all right? Oblivion Gate, apparently rogue mage going bananas and killing people. He is not on safe ground there. Okay, fast forward to the Imperial City, and I've come to the Talos District, because this one is 
right by the Imperial Bridge. Someone who's arriving in town has to cross the bridge. You must have seen him if he came into town. I believe I heard a Benaris is in town. You should check out the Elven Gardens district. A Benaris wouldn't be seen anywhere else. Okay, apparently this is like a well-known person. Like, you know, a famous aristocratic family or something. So his arrival, news gets around. So alright, from Talos I believe Elven is, yes, this direction. So, okay, I think this might be the only district I haven't actually uh, been into yet. Though, then again, John. Okay, that's embarrassing for you. Because, uh, by the sounds of it, this is the fancy district where the fancy people live. So, why precisely have you not been coming here to rob the place so far? So, oh, the King and Queen Tavern. Right. Very fancy. This lad's not staying at the boarding house. No. No, 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 though. Hang on, when you say Elven Garden... I mean... I guess there's a bit of green with some plants here. I wouldn't call these gardens, to be honest. No, I feel like this place has been badly named. Okay. If he's anywhere, he's going to be here. And we might even catch him asleep. So, just in case this... Oh, no. No, you don't. You come back here. I'm surprised to see you all the way out here in the Imperial City. Okay, so it turns out that your granddad was an insane necromancer... Or something, and I'm going to need your help to open the secret murder door. So, you think I'm responsible? <laughs> I suppose you're right, as the manor used to belong to my grandfather, Lorgren Benaris. I knew there was a curse on that place, which is why I sold it to you so cheap. I suppose I should have warned you, but I had to get out of Anvil. My family said I could move here to the Imperial City once all our loose ends were tied down. The manor was one of those loose ends. I fear my own greed got the better of my judgment. I, I hope you weren't hurt badly in that horrible place. I suppose I assumed you'd be able to lift the curse and be done with it. Okay, so we're going to be needing your blood, but also... You know what? I appreciate he's apologising and doesn't appear to be a complete monster. He is, however, an idiot. Because, yeah, whoever he sold the place to... It was haunted. I was going to realise that pretty fast and tell other people. Sooner or later, someone was going to come and investigate and find evidence that your well-known family that everyone in Cyrodiil appears to know about was involved in some dark, nasty stuff. Alright, this was going to come back to you pretty bloody soon. Anyway, tell me about your granddads. Lorgren Benaris was a strange old man, always dabbling and experimenting with magic. He was mostly harmless, until the fateful day he came across a tome bearing the evil magic of necromancy. He became obsessed and decided that by using necromancy, he could prolong his own life. The dark arts contained in the tome called for him to dig up the recently deceased in the nearby crypts under the cathedral. When it was discovered that he did this, the Mage's Guild called for a quick meeting to decide what to do. It only took minutes to decide. Led by a young upstart named Carahill, the Mage's Guild stormed Benaris Manor and slew Lorgren. However, amid the chaos, his body vanished. Because of this, the people of Anvil concluded the manor must be cursed. You are the first person to set foot inside in a long time. Okay. So, I'm surprised nobody mentioned that when I was just asking them about rumours, but sure. And Carahel, we know about her. She's still doing good work to this day, asking me to, yes, deal with a rogue mage on the road. Right, you and me, buddy, we're going to go sort out the curse. Or, like, some of your blood. Just give me some of your blood in a cup, and I think we can do it that way. According to the diary entry, it seems that I'm the only one who can open the secret door in the manor. And I can't help feeling slightly guilty selling you the place under these circumstances. I'll meet you in Anvil at the Count's Arms. From there, we'll try to lift the curse together. You know what? Me and this guy, we can be friends. Assuming he bothers actually showing up, that is. Oh, hang on. We just passed a house. Arvina Thelas. Now, we were told uh, creepy noises are coming from uh, her basement. And Oh... Also, 
clear evidence that maybe she wants to get stuff in or out of her basement without people knowing. Okay, now I'm fully aware I have no leg to stand on when it comes to complaining about people with creepy stuff in their basements in Anvil. Like, not a leg to stand on, so many glass houses I'm standing in right now. But that doesn't mean we're not checking out hers while we're here. Oh, it's just rats. Hello, are you friend rats? Do you like pet rats? I think these are her pet rats. Oh my goodness, I'm extremely glad I didn't just attack them. Because apparently she's just got, yes, pet rats. And she's built them like a rat door. So they can go in and out. Then again, that's in and out like in the city. Oh yeah, she's feeding them. 100%. These are her pets. Okay, that's incredibly wholesome. I have found the one basement in this entire bloody game that is not, in fact, a creepy murder basement. It's fine. Oh, okay. I think she just saw me in her... Okay, never mind. Don't mind me. It's fine. I was just leaving. I've got my own basement to sort out. You know what? I honestly wasn't sure whether he was going to show up, but he has done. So, you know what? Well played to you, sir. I think in all fairness at this point, I'm just starting to feel sorry for the lad. He's given away his family mansion for a fraction of what it ought to cost. And now he has just been dragged back here to fight ghosts. He is basically going to help me massively increase the value of the asset he sold me at a knockdown price. So, well done you, you business genius. I mean, at the absolute bare minimum, I would be expecting him to be renegotiating at this point. Because he just gave me the house at a really, really cheap price. And now the house is haunted until he helps me unhaunt it. So surely, at the bare minimum, he should get the house valued. And then, whatever the difference between the true value and the value he sold it to me at is, he should ask for half of that as payment for getting rid of the ghosts. That way, we both profit, but okay, you know what? Don't say this to him. He's apparently willing to just help me for free. Okay, back inside. How many? We do have ghosts. Don't worry, it's not that bad. They're actually pretty flimsy in the face of this here. Oh, there's several of them, though. Okay, take them out one at a time. This axe is actually making short work of them. It's basically just the magic damage. Oh, blimey, I just got knocked over. You don't have a- Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm really cocking so- ah! That was a mistake. That was- Oh, cock me. I didn't mean to hit you. That was- You were just standing- Well, I can't- Oh, well, this is- No. Okay, so, so now he's- He's- Uh-oh. Please tell me I'm not about to get arrested for this. No, this is- This is not fair. I shouldn't be- Stop right there, criminal scum. Nobody breaks the law on my watch. Confiscating your stolen goods. Now pay your fine, or it's off to jail. Okay, this was just a ghost busting accident. It was not assault, but. Okay, it's fine. I'll pay the bloody fine. Also, bloody hell, I think he actually came with me to prison because, okay, he's just set to follow me. So, as a result of that, when I spawned outside prison, he was also here. He's still my temporary companion. Okay. Let's... Let's try this again. Okay. Ghosts all defeated. Weapons fully charged, thanks to Ghost. Secret door. Need you to, I don't know, slice a bit of your blood out and then just get this open. If you'd be so kind. Also, oh bloody hell. Could this be a trap? Could he be in on it with his undead grandfather? It's possible, you know, just let him do his thing. Any progress, buddy? Lead on. I mean, to be honest, this is kind of like, you know, your one and only job right now. I need you to figure out how to open the thing. Okay, so he's opened the door, but apparently now he's, um, naffing off. But, honestly, I'm gonna say he did more than I was expecting him to. Here we go. Right, so... Logren, who may or may not be dead, undead. Ooh, Tome of Unlife. I'll be reading. Oh, blimey. I'll admit I do some necromancy, summoning the odd demon, etc, etc. This looks dark, even by my standards. I will be taking it, though, just to uh, sell it, actually. So we'll be having uh, 
all of that. Then there's a lot of bones. I am Lord Grand Belarus, and I desire the chance to atone for my sins. The things I've done to the people of Anvil, the horrible, unspeakable acts I've committed, demand repentance. Garahil was justified. Slaying me was the only way to stop the madness. I have accepted that fate. No, so I may make my final peace with the Nine. Please rejoin my hand to my body. Only then, when I am complete, will this Oh, I see. So, he was planning to, you know, become something something, murder everybody, but when Carahill came in, she chopped off his hand. He must have, like, teleported down here, but instead of, you know, ascending to become a slaughter murder god or whatever, instead he just ended up being a sort of a sentient skeleton who couldn't move and has spent the last however many decades thinking long and hard about what he's done. Okay. So, I know where the hand is. It's right over by the vase where we got the original message. So go get that and apparently we can sort this all out nice and easy. And if this guy gets laid to rest, hang about, where's the... There it is, got the hand. If we sort this out, then the house is haunted. Then I've just got a big mansion, no ghosts, and I picked it up for a bargain. And I like the city. I like the architecture. This is nice. So, uh, all right, here you go, buddy. Here's your hand. It never fails to use me how easy mortal man is to manipulate. Uh-oh. You've assisted me in completing the very thing Carrie has cabal sucked to prevent all those years ago. My... Ascension to immortality. Uh-oh. Last time I clashed with mortals, I underestimated their power. I shall not repeat that mistake twice. Okay, I think I might have just made a mistake, actually. Um, ha 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 ha. Okay, so he's, he's back. He's doing an evil laugh too and everything. Oh, he's cocking back. Okay, hang about. He looks like he's a ghost. Like he's ascended to become a spectral. That means, uh, yes, what can we what can we do to him? If anything's going to do anything, it's the Flame Atronach. So we're bringing you out at the bare minimum. Beyond that, what have we got that might do something? Presumably, he's a mage. I do have... Uh, yes, my brand new pirate sword. That might do a good job. Honor Blade might do okay as well. Uh, let's just see what we got here. Oh, he's summoning skeletons. Oh, you know what, buddy? Buddy, buddy, buddy. Oh, that's a skeleton guardian, isn't it? Okay, never mind. Don't worry. It's all fine. Just take you on. Oh, yeah, that's that's not a problem. That's not... Wait, what happened to my summon? What happened to my summon? Did you get rid of my summon? Hang on this. John, you haven't actually summoned the summon. You just did some healing. Okay, this is this is fine. Just take you out. Take you out in a second. There we go. There's your summon gone, buddy. Right. What can we do to him? We need to maybe do something to him. He's oh, he's he's big. He's oh, blimey. Okay, hang about, hang about, hang about. He's 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 got some magic going on. What can I do to resist magic? Do I have any potions to resist magic? No, but what I do have is, yeah, plenty of potions uh, for the time being. And I can start getting some drain of health on him. Let's just see if we can do... He's just summoning more stuff, isn't he? Right, damage over time, go. I think he's using flames. Okay, we can work with this. I mean, I've got resist fire 10% right here on this band. Though, to be honest, I'm not sure it's worth uh, swapping out the rings I've got. But fire shield, 15% uh, fire resistance... That's doable. That's okay. Can I leave, by the way? Is that allowed? And... Oh, no. He's he sealed me in. Okay, that's that's not allowed. Uh, right there. That's that's a problem. Right. Just summon some assistance for the time being. Because, okay, if he's going to use fire spells, then... Yeah, this is actually a good thing. 
because his fire spells are going to do nothing to my flame Atronach. Okay, that, that's good. That's going to buy me some time. Flame Atronach might be able to do something. Oh, now we're doing something. Now we're doing something. Flame Atronach can potentially do this. Just keep the Flame Atronachs coming. Keep on the move. Let the Flame Atronach do the damn work. Eventually, the Flame Atronach will be able to win. But okay, there's no point taking out the Skellingtons. Every time we try... Oh, blimey. Okay, seriously, drink that potion. Drink that potion of Fire Shield. That's what we're doing right now. I need to... Oh, yeah. Fortify my strength like crazy. Not that it really matters because... It's the magic damage that matters, uh, nothing else. Get my Magicka, restoring in a hurry. Get me health. I need health. Get me... No, drain doesn't mean steal, it just means reduce in this game, I think. Stay out the way. Go, go, go. Just, okay, focus all firepower on him. Just wail on him. Just see if we can just maybe get him down fast enough. Just keep going for him. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I think we just got him. No, okay, you have got to have. He's got nothing on him. But the staff is... The staff isn't even worth that much. I am disappointed. Like for an eternal god who was talking big about, you know, destroying the entire town, making everybody suffer. You had one basic crappy staff. Dear oh flipping dear. Okay, um, slight twist I wasn't expecting. So it would appear that on his way out, um, my friend Benarus has tidied up a bit. Because I definitely didn't do any of this, but now, now it's all neat and nice and okay. Well, 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 well. Did he also by any chance, like, I don't know, replace the windows outside because they were looking pretty bloody broken? He actually did. The house has just sort of magically repaired itself. Now that I've taken care of the evil ghost, the house has just fixed itself with the exception of the garden wall, which is still broken. Okay, I've got a plan, all right, which is if this guy now wants to buy back his own family home now that it's not haunted and also mysteriously is now much nicer looking and like not broken down or dirty, I will sell it back to him. But the price I'm going to insist upon is 20 grand, enough to buy the house in Coral. So, okay, buddy, let's talk business. I'm sorry for running away like that, but fear got the best of me. I'm glad you talked me into coming with you. Now that the curse has been lifted, I feel like I've taken care of my family's unfinished business. Excellent work, my friend. May the manor give you many years of happiness. I'm now off to the Imperial City once more. Farewell. Okay, I'm happy to sell it back to you for the right amount, but apparently he is not interested. So, okay, after all that, not only do I have a vastly bigger house, like, you know, I have moved from a shack to this, a house with a, a dining room and an entertaining room, and uh, this room that doesn't really even do anything, and ignore the ghost, by the way, we'll, um, we'll sweep that up at some point, and a murder basement, a very literal murder basement, and uh, a master bedroom, together with uh, a study where I can store all my stuff, and a big-ass balcony. And it's all furnished. I don't need to pay, like, a thousand gold to go in order to, like, you know, set up one chest. It's pre-furnished. This is... Oh, this is an absolute flipping bargain. All right. I was not ripped off. He was ripped off. I feel sorry for the lad. Admittedly, I think I know what we need to do next, which is there's also an angry shouting priest. So... I'd say that's enough for now, but next time we need to boost the property value. And the best way to do that would be calming down the gibbering priest next door. So it's finally time, pilgrimage. Let's speak to the mysterious prophet, figure out what happened to the Church of Debella, and begin, well, there was mention of a, a holy crusade, so... I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but it sounds pretty bloody exciting. Hopefully, you are looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Oblivion. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got ourselves. I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning 
as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.